Hi friends, this is Pastor Harley with the Broadway Church. I'd like to read to you another verse from Isaiah. Uh, it is in chapter 38, verse 20, Hezekiah, who it is, describes the time that Isaiah came, prayed for him, and, and spoke to him on behalf of the Lord, and, and Hezekiah was healed from an illness that they thought would carry him away. And so the last word of, of Hezekiah's praise is, the Lord will save me, and we will play my music on stringed instruments all the days of our lives at the house of the Lord. Now, I think that's an unusual verse, but the first first uh, concept in it is is very clear to those who have walked with God. The Lord will save me. Uh, the Lord has saved me. I, I have found comfort, strength, just renewal of life and forgiveness of sins in Jesus. And remember, everything Isaiah does points us to the Messiah. He's, he's, he might be dealing with kings, but he's still captivated by the Messiah that God will send. And also that um, I found that the Lord, Lord has saved me and will save me from the, from the trials and, and the things that come up that, that threaten to, to make me less than the person I should be in his sight, to draw me away from him and, and turn my eyes to other things. And also Hezekiah then says, you know, we will play... And then interesting, he says, my music on stringed instruments. We, we often think about, well, we'll get to heaven and I guess we'll all be issued a harp and we'll sit on clouds and play the harps. And now, now that's not truly a, a biblical picture of, of uh, the new creation and our life in God hereafter. But Hezekiah is saying, you know, my song of praise, my particular glory to God that he has done in me, that which has humbled me and, found, and, then, and led me to found him as, find him as the fountain of my life. Uh, we're going to sing that song. I'm going to make sure people know my testimony to all that God has done for me. I like that Hezekiah says, you know, what's going on in my life is worth sharing. Draw yourself today near to God and look for those things in your life that's going to be worth sharing. And I bet God sends you somebody that it's worth sharing with. Be blessed.